you know those incredibly stylish friends that no matter if it's just kids sport or some sort of casual event, they still seem to rock up looking awesome. Well, that's what this boat is. This boat's awesome. It's a Beneteau Gran Turismo 40. It's all style and French flair. And we're gonna take you for a walk through. Come with us, hope you enjoy. So being built by the Beneteau Group, it's obviously made in France, but it is an Italian design. And you can probably see by this beautiful upholstery right throughout the cockpit. You can seat 10 people here with ease, and this table will double in size for your social scene. Um, this boat, it is an entertainer. It is an absolute, take your friends out, a couple of families, and have an awesome day or be really comfortable, you and a partner for overnights or even bring another adult couple because you've got cabins either side of the boat. We'll get to that in a second. So moving around, as you can see, wrap around seating, it's all social setup. Coming out on the transom, we actually have a barbecue area. So I've got an electric grill, which will run off the generator. We've got hot and cold water and a drop down swim platform just on the back of the boat here where my cameraman is. Coming through into the cockpit, you've got this lovely hard top. Now, um, hard tops are all the rage and it's the direction they're going globally because no one wants to deal with the clears. We've got a quite a stylish window pattern, which is quite striking. You'll see that when we get the drone up in the air and plenty of natural ventilation. It's a hot day today, but I've got a sunroof, which is you know, as, as, wide as, the, uh, as wide as the deck and you know, a metre and a half long. So lots and lots of airflow through the main part of the boat. We do also have another small window here. Um, the helms, helmsman, helms person's chair, I'm never sure what to say these days, uh, will easily seat a couple and it's got a flip up bolster. We have an electric fridge right near the helm, which is cool. You don't always see that. Looks like we've got some storage here that pops up and we also have some storage under those seats just there. Um, if you come up and have a look at the helm, we'll talk about some of the features here. Something that is nice to see is this extra chair just on the starboard side. So um, the helmsman, helms person can sit with a partner just there and another guest can sit up here and this will swivel round and face your, your 10 other guests in the cockpit, which is great. But from an operational perspective, from a seated position, you know, I'm only 5'7", and I can see all the extremities of the boat. I can see the, the transom platform, see the bow and the sides really easily. And from standing, no problems at all. If you're a bit taller, you could probably put your head out the roof as well. Um, the console is something you don't always see uh, as sexy as this one. This is a really well thought out steering console. You feel like you're almost at the helm of a spaceship. Like it's, it's super stylish. It's got a lot of presence. You got this wrap around black, black and gray trim either side, but more importantly, the controls really easy to hand. So throttles just here, joystick just here and my engine operation. So my Volvo Penta, Penta digital diagnostics um, ignition just here. And then my instruments either side. This is my trim tabs all my boat systems here, and again on the port side. And then I've got a, a neat Simrad display, which will give me chart plotter. That can give me other feeds as well. We've got it set on the engine at the moment and a compass up the front. A couple of drink holders at the helm, another drink holder to starboard, a VHF also well-placed on starboard. And this seat here is adjustable. So come downstairs with me and we'll have a quick look. First thing you notice, is this really wide companionway. A lot of boats, they're not so generous on the companionway. And this is great because on a, on a social day, you're gonna have lots of people wanting to move around, utilize this lower saloon and pop upstairs and go downstairs. So this is, this is really good. But you have this lower dinette area just here, which is good for three or four people. Kids could come down here really happily and enjoy the day. Um, you've got lots of natural light coming through 
a sunroof just here, which is above the companionway. And we've also got three opening portholes, two on the port side, one on the starboard side, so you can get a lot of natural ventilation if you wish, but we also have air conditioning and a gen set, so you have that option too. If you come down, I'll just show you through. Something Beneteau, Beneteau do really well is all these soft furnishings, the windows, the, the timber work, the stainless. It just gives you a really good first impression. It's somewhere you'd be proud to, to hang out of a weekend. Obviously, you're going to do a lot of your cooking upstairs on a boat like this. However, it's, a, it's an all year round kind of boat. So you do have a galley down here. We've got a microwave behind here. We've got storage, more storage, and also a built-in bin just here. A hot plate, which will run off the gen set, and a reasonably deep stainless steel sink with hot and cold tap just there. Just aft of the galley is the toilet with a separate shower. I won't bother going in there, but it's there. And if you come forward, you can actually see what is the VIP, but could quite easily be considered the master as well. It's a um, beautiful cabin. We've got opening windows on either side. We've got a forward facing hatch to get that flow through. You can sit up in bed. You've got reading lights. You've got charging points and places for your mobile phones on either side. And then we've got hanging lockers, port and starboard, and some drawers underneath the bed for all your bits and pieces and extra bedding and more of this nice soft furnishing, like a, I'm not even sure what you call this, but it's, it's got quite a nice feel on the main bulkhead, which offsets against this darker timber and leather straps, handles. It's just a, it's just a really well finished boat. Coming to the back of the boat here. So you would think of this as the master cabin. I certainly do. It's set up as twin singles at the moment. I'd say the owner has a couple of kids who probably sleep back here, but this is a full beam master. We've got window on either side. We have more storage lockers. We've got plenty of deep lockers underneath these lids on either side. The port side does have a bit of the owner's bits and pieces at the moment. How cool is that? That would be a lot of fun on a boat like this. Um, but yeah, there's no doubt gonna be an infill that goes through here to make this one large bed, but this one's been set up with the twin singles. Come forward and we'll check out the bow. So access to the bow can go either starboard or port. You've got grab handles as you make your way up and then a decent stainless steel rail running all the way to the front of the boat. And this is just another super social space. So come with me. So what I find, you actually grab hold of the uh, fiberglass running strip, I don't even know what you call it, but where the, the opening roof section goes forward and aft, there's a deep gutter, so that's a nice handhold going forward, and then you also have this and the other handle on your way up to the front of the boat. Beautiful upholstered sun lounge just here. You've got drink holders either side. I believe this actually pops up as a backrest as well. There you go. How cool is that? And as you'd expect, electric anchor windlass, 50 meters of chain, gal chain, sand anchor. That's exactly what you need for Sydney Harbour. Fender storage on either side. And that just gives you, if you pan around a little bit, a feel for the good looks of this thing. So finally, we'll just have a quick look at the engine bay and then we'll take this thing for a drive and you can uh, have a look at how she performs. So here we are down in the engine bay of the Beneteau Grand Turismo 40. So as you can see, it's got a couple of Volvo D4 300s. These are the 300 horsepower. So I'm just gonna pass the camera to my colleague here so I can talk to you. 
These engines only have 40 hours on them. They still have the extended warranty on them and at 40 hours that's not even run in. Uh, this boat's been used as a day boat on Sydney Harbour. The destinations are not that far apart. It's a quick boat so they really haven't racked up many hours at all. We've got the Cummins Genset as well to 5 kVA so that will run your aircon. It's only got 25 hours on it. Once again, not even run in. We've got diesel tanks either side. We've got some power distribution. We've got our fuel filters. We've got a Fireboy system with two extinguishers. That is automatic. Um, our battery bank is on the port side. So there's port and starboard crank. And then there's also a house battery. And you can bridge them if you need to in an emergency. Hot water is over on the starboard side. That's about a 40 litre, don't hold me to that, insulated tank, which will take it off the gen set engine or the shore power and we're running uh, the power system is going through a couple of Volvo stern drive that's the duo props and we've got the joystick so no bow thruster necessary walk this thing sideways if you need.